Good afternoon. Welcome back. It is Wednesday, January 18th, 2023. Have a few birthdays to celebrate today. Uh, the first one, I don't have any cards of this driver. Uh, he's a former Formula One winner, but tragically passed away in 1982, but born on this day in 1950. It was the father of 1995 Indy 500 winner Jacques Villeneuve, Gilles Villeneuve. Uh, of course, he was a Ferrari driver and was killed in, uh, I believe it was the Zandvoort circuit in 1982 in practice, trying to one-up his teammate for top speed of the day, lost control. I think he uh, lost control of his car after he ran over the back wheel of, I believe, Patrick Tombe or Derek Warwick. It was one of the two drivers and flipped and was actually ejected from the car. It was such a violent wreck. So, uh, I believe Jacques was about eight years old at the time his father passed. But, uh, Gilles, uh, there's a circuit the Xfinity Series raced on several years. The circuit Gilles Villeneuve in Montreal on the, uh, island on that park. So, happy birthday to Mr. Villeneuve. We also have two other birthdays. Also born on this date in 1971... I only had one card of him, but I had multiples of him. Christian Fittipaldi. Like I say, I don't like doing rookie cards on here, but when it's the only one that I've got, it's the only one that we're going to be able to use. So I do have a couple IndyCar cards of his tucked away somewhere, but I can't, I can't find that album because I've been moving so much around. But he did have a brief spell in the Cup and Xfinity series. Here he was driving the famous 43 for Petty Enterprises. And there you see his uh, statistics for the few races that he did run. Uh, you can see it wasn't that great with the best finish. It looks like a 24th at Pocono. Did have a 7th place start at Michigan. Ended up 33rd that day. But just a rough transition for Christian Fittipaldi. He ran Formula 1, IndyCar, NASCAR. I believe he's probably done some of those world uh, sports car series and stuff. He was always very competitive and like the Le Mans style cars, the road racing series. So <clears throat> there's that one. And then our final one born on this date in 1961. A uh, longtime NASCAR car owner. No longer active in the sport as a car owner. But he's fielded cars in Xfinity and Cup for drivers like Jeff Gordon, Bobby Labonte, Dave Blaney, Ward Burton, Scott Wimmer, among others. And if you guessed Bill Davis... You guessed correctly. So here is a 91 tracks card. And he doesn't have a lot. I managed to find 10 different ones. So I was kind of excited about that. So Bill Davis, of course, started in the Xfinity Series, then Bush Series with Mark Martin, later Jeff Gordon. Look at this card behind him. That was the Fall 91 race at Martinsville. Um, you can see Jeff Gordon's name there on the hand or on the roof rail, Gordon. And it's like. Why is he in a Bobby Labonte car? Well, they crashed their car in practice, and they actually had to drive a Bobby Labonte backup Chevrolet in the race. So he's got the Ford the Ford emblem there on his shirt and had uh, fielded a Chevrolet for the uh, season finale in the 1991 Bush Series season. Here's his Maxwell House uh, jacket that he had on when he first moved to Cup. Had Maxwell House for 1993 and 1994 with Bobby Labonte. First with Ford, then with Pontiac. Looks like much the same there. See a little blue around his collar. So it's probably, again, a Maxwell House. Here's another one. There you see the Ford logo sticking out in the front. So that would have been a picture from 93. And most of the owners just have the, the headshot. There you see a little bit of the Maxwell House logo with this 94 wheels high gears. Is this Series 1 or Series 2? Series 1, so that would have not been where the Dale Jr. rookie card was at. Looks like we've got a 94 press pass. Again, just the just the sweater there, sweatshirt, whatever you want to call it, with the headshot. Kind of like these ones. Of course, they had MBA as a sponsor with Ward Burton and 95. Randy LaJoy, I forgot about 95. That was a season of turmoil for that team. Randy LaJoy started the team, or started the car in 95, ran about half the races, got released. Wally Dollenbach drove the car at Watkins Glen, 
and had a decent run, finished second, almost won the race. Then for a couple of races, I believe Jimmy Hensley drove the 22 car for uh, Bill Davis at Michigan, Bristol, and I believe that would, was it. Then uh, Ward Burton took, took it over at Darlington, and then the rest, as they say, is history. There's another picture. Again, this is 95, and they still have the 94 stuff up, so that was been an early release. But there you see the Maxwell House Pontiac. And then there's a picture from 1995. And again, it's just the Pontiac Racing. So it's cool. I'm going to see. I'm going to look at the backs of these off camera and see if they had a picture of the the MBNA car, which they did not. It was it was a nice looking car, but there's a good picture of the hat, the MBNA Motorsports. So Mr. Bill Davis celebrating another birthday this year, as well as Christian Fittipaldi, and of course Gilles Villeneuve. So happy birthday to everyone. Hope everyone enjoys this video again. I'm kind of digging into some of these cards that I've got piled up and stacked up and in boxes. And this has been a fun little project. We're 18 days in. Uh, of course, when we've had a couple of days where we didn't have birthdays. But this has been a fun project and, and everybody seems to like this. I think it gives you all something a little different besides ripping new stuff. I know a lot of people like looking at some of the older stuff, and this kind of gives us a way to uh, to shine on that. And I got another idea for another series that I want to do, and it's just going to be one video a month from February to November. But uh, it, it's not going to be something spectacular, and it's something that we've already done, but there's a reason that I want to do it, so stay tuned for that coming up as well. So thanks again for watching. Really, really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button on the way out. And thanks for watching. We will see you tomorrow.